one of my favourite subjects. When we first came to Australia, chicken was a special thing that you only had once every so often. Now, it's Australia's most eaten meat. So what does that mean? And it's cheap. What does that mean? Factory farming. So whoever of you eats chicken from you know, Woolies and this and that and the other um, is supporting this industry. In Europe, especially in Italy, chicken is still a special thing. It's a special thing. You don't get chicken like this. In Italy, the head is left on, the crest, the wattle, the feet, it's all good. It's all good. You can, you can actually make this re recipe with a whole chicken if you want. Right? But I've made it simple for you. And you, you, um, the recipe says just to make it with the merry lamb, basically with thigh and drumstick. You see the colour of that meat? It is not that sort of pasty white. It's got nice fat on it. It's beautiful, lovely. First of all, a little bit of flour. Just pat anything extra off. I tend to do it skin side down first so it crisps up. Uh, I got my passion for cooking from my mum and she was, um, she was a very good cook, as was my grandmother. Um, my grandmother had a restaurant in Milan and she taught my mum to cook and I just learned to cook from my mum. We've got onions, but this time we'll cut them up in wedges. Extra virgin olive oil. Well, this is basically a sofrito that I'm making. So, garlic, onion, celery. Put in some celery. I'm using the heart of the celery. And it's even got a few of the, the little leaves in there as well. You know, a, a, a fry up of all your aromatics. Now, we started the soup with a sofrito, and we're doing the same here. It's the base, and you build on it. Capsicum. Some red, some yellow. And I've got them in, um, I've cut them into pieces, into wedges, top to bottom. And as you cook them, they'll actually start getting uh, some of their flavour and transferring it to the whole dish. Okay, I'm going to cut up a few of these cherry tomatoes that we're going to put in. I'm just going to put a little bit of salt in, just do a first salt. Got my chicken here, which I've done. Turn, turn the heat up a little bit. A little bit of wine. I want all of that to just evaporate. And you can see that um, what's happening is that the capsicum are starting to wilt. Throw some tomatoes in. Okay, I'm just going to turn that down a bit. And I'm going to put my chicken in. So basically what we're doing is cooking it. We're putting a little bit of passato in. Here we go. Turn it up. 
probably a good 10 minutes or so, and then we turn it over, cook it another 10 minutes or so, and then we'll put uh, a little bit of parsley on, finish our seasoning, and it will be ready. We're just going to turn this over now. If it starts to look a little bit dry, then as the recipe says, you put in a little bit of little bit of water. See, this is this is nearly ready. I the way you tell if it's ready is I've just made an incision in there into right where the bone is, and if the juice runs clear, which it's it's doing, it's ready. I'm just going to do a final salt and I'm just going to put, I might put a little bit of parsley onto it. There we go. There we go. Oh, thank you.